Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a video on setting up my altar and the new way because I, I took it apart um, just because I, I felt like the other way was just um, not resonating with me anymore and the cards that I had on there were great but I kind of had to take it apart because a lot of the stuff I was um, taking with me to use at a booth so I, I just kind of took it all away and cleaned it up and I actually cleaned my altar yesterday like dusted it and stuff so that it's all ready for today. Today I was actually going to go down and visit my parents to sew the edges of my altar cloths um, because they have a sewing machine and I don't <laughs> but my mom was busy today so I might have to do it um, a couple weeks from now but I didn't want to wait that long to set up my altar so I think I'm just gonna do it today Instead of actually looking up meanings for stones and what stones help you with, like I did before, this time I simply went through my rock collection and just took out the ones that called to me. So the ones that I felt drawn to and um, that I felt could help me in my journey for however long I have this altar set up the way that it will be set up. So. Anything that I put on here is something that I've been intuitively called to put there. So um, the altar cloth, I'm kind of having an issue deciding between, but I think I'm going to do the red and blue iridescent one. So I'm just going to put that on here. And I, once again, I apologize for the edges um, of the altar cloth. They are not finished because I haven't gotten a chance to go to my parents' house and they have a sewing machine. So if you're bothered by that, I am sorry. <laughs> I've actually never had an altar cloth on this so I'm not really quite sure how to set it up I'm just gonna kind of follow as I go along so that looks good and then I am going to sage it I'm just gonna use a sage spray because it's simple let that dry and then I'm just going to put my giving hand in the middle and program this so I ask that this altar be a symbol of my gratitude to the universe for what you have given me so far and a request to receive more abundance from the universe. I ask that no harm come from what I do and that I only help people find light and love and health. Okay, so now that that's dry, I'm gonna definitely put my Selena on here. I put my Selena, whoa, that's really blown out, hold on. Sorry, I had to adjust that because it was really bright. Um, but I always put my Selena on my altar just because it's a cleansing stone and it's very high, high, high vibration. So I feel like it kind of clears the area. Um, I think I'm going to put it in this corner because I always put it in this corner, but I kind of want to change things up. So I think I'm going to put that there. And then um, I want to have this here because this was actually a quartz crystal that I programmed to help me specifically with my business. So I always put that right next to the selenite just because that kind of charges it and keeps it charged. Um, also any crystals that I put on here, um, I plan on taking down before May 3rd to charge them because May 3rd is the next full moon. So yeah, just a note. And then I'm also going to put my blue calcite skull because I actually can't keep him in storage. He's not happy in storage. He likes to be out on the altar. So I always keep him on there. He's happy. And then um, I think I almost, I was going to put this on here, but I almost feel like it's too much selenite. So I think I'm going to keep that off. Um, the stones that I felt called to use, I think I'm going to put some around my candle. So I am going to put this um, little ceramic plate. I'm almost nearly positive I got this at the Dollar Tree like a couple years ago, um, but I really, really like it and I always used it as like a soap dish um, in my bathroom, but I think I, I cleaned it off and rinsed it and stuff like that and I'm going to use it on my altar now because I just feel like it's pretty. So I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to put my um, money candle. So I put that candle in a mercury glass um, votive holder from the dollar store and then I have some sand on the bottom to keep it from sticking to the bottom of the glass and I'm just going to put that in the middle of this. And then I'm just going to put a bunch of random little stones that I felt called to use on my altar around the base of this and 
I just feel like that will help take the energies from that stone and kind of infuse it into the candle. So uh, first I'm going to put my Numite and this is a really grounding stone and you're going to notice as I'm going through I'm using a lot of grounding stones, at least stones that help ground me, and things related to the root chakra. Simply because um, I associate money and abundance and financial stability with the root chakra. So I want to work on that a lot in especially in the next month. So I am going to put a lot of grounding stones and this and my black tourmaline I find are the only two stones I have come across that can actually ground me without me actually actively trying to ground. Um, and I think it's just a starseed thing. I have a really hard time grounding. The only other time I can ground is when I'm actively trying to do it and when I have my hands in the dirt. So <laughs> um, it just makes it complicated to ground if I'm a starseed. So I'm going to have my black tourmaline there and my new mite. I'm also going to put my titanium covered kyanite piece because I just felt intuitively called to use it. I'm also going to put my bit smooth for the same reason I just felt called to have it on my altar. I'm also going to use green amethyst which this doesn't look green but it's a really really pale green and um, I'm going to put that on the altar. I just felt called to use it. I actually haven't looked up the properties of this stone yet so I don't actually know what it does. I'm also going to put my uh, Desert Rose Selenite on the altar because my friend gave this to me and she is the one that owns the store down in um, Carson and she is absolutely amazing and she said that when she first started her business she was gifted a Desert Rose Selenite and it helped boost her business so I always keep this on my altar like basically all the time so I'm gonna put that next to him and then I'm also going to have Citrine of course because it's a very good money stone and abundance stone I'm also going to have Aquamarine which I actually recently got this piece of Aquamarine and it's so pretty. It has like this really nice almost like uh, flash to it if you can see that but I really like this piece of aquamarine and it is my birthstone so I felt called to use it and then I'm also going to put my opalite on there because I really 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 like opalite. I just really really enjoy it so I'm gonna put that on there as well. I'm also gonna put um, amethyst because I felt called to have amethyst. I almost always feel called to have amethyst on my altar. I think it's just the angels around me being like, oh, amethyst, especially Michael. He really likes amethyst, so I put that on there. I'm also going to put aqua ore on there because I feel like it will help with magic, and a couple of other stones um, here I feel I felt called to use because I felt that they would help with magic and so I'm going to use the Aqua Aura. I'm also going to put my Smoky Quartz on my altar because I just felt cause, called to use it, <laughs> caused to use it, called to use it um, to kind of clear out any negative energies and I feel like this will help with the root chakra as well but I don't feel called to put it on here. I think I'm going to put it right there. Then I also am going to have my clear quartz point which I actually have programmed to be in touch with my brother. My brother lives in Seattle and he is awakened as well and he is a starseed and um, we're really really close so I wanted to keep this on my altar because I've been thinking about him and I think that I'm going to get back in touch with him because sometimes like you go through those times where you don't talk to them for a while like a couple weeks at a time and then you just start talking again and I'm kind of going through that um, as well. So I think I'm going to put this here to remind me to contact him and stay in touch. I'm going to put that here. And then I also have my fire agate because fire agate actually helps with um, negative energy. So if someone sends you negative energy, it will go back to them or to the person who sent it and teach them that that's not okay, that it's not good to send bad energy to people. So I feel like being on the um, in an online business especially, people can talk behind your back and send you negative energy without you ne necessarily even knowing it. And I feel like this is a good thing to have on my altar right now. So I'm going to put that over here. I'm also going to have some peacock... Um, what is this? Peacock... Uh, oh, peacock copper. That's what it is. <laughs> um, but I felt like this was related to magic, so I'm going to put that on there as well. And then I'm also going to put my Lemurian Aquatine Calcite on here because it... Whoop, 
goodness, I guess it didn't want to be on there. <laughs> um, I got this recently and I felt called to use it, so I think I'm just going to put it on here. I actually haven't um, really known how to use this, so I'm just putting it on my altar for now. <laughs> So it will give me its meaning soon. I'm also going to put my garnet on here because I just recently got this. I got it at the same time as the Aquatine Calcite and I feel called to use it because garnet is a root chakra stone and I specifically got it because it was a root chakra stone but I've also been called to a lot of grounding and root chakra related stones. So I'm going to put that there as well. I'm also going to put my polished hematite piece on my altar as well because I just felt called to use it. It's very starry and sparkly and it just makes me happy. So I'm going to put that here. I'm also using my green gold stone and this stone I got at the same time as I got the Aquatine Calcite and the Garnet and I just felt called to get it because it's green and so it reminds me of money but it also is sparkly and starry. Um, like it almost looks like the stars in the sky like blue gold stone and so it reminds me to stay connected to magic. So I'm going to put this on here as well. I'm also going to put my pink tourmaline on here because this is actually a heart chakra stone. Oh, I'm <laughs> just like dropping things today. Um, that helps with your heart chakra and I felt like because I'm going to be, um, you know, working on my root chakra, I feel like that could affect my heart chakra and I just felt called to use this. And then I'm also going to put my lavender quartz on there because I was actually gifted this by a friend and I actually haven't looked up the meanings of lavender quartz but I feel called to have this on my altar so I'm just putting it on here and then the last or one of the one before the last stone is honey calcite and I'm using this because it's a really nice golden color and it reminded me of gold and I felt like that was related to abundance so I'm gonna have this on there as well I think we're gonna move this and then the last stone I'm putting on here is my um, a labradorite palm stone and I love this guy because he's actually a pretty good size but I got him recently and I, I just I don't really know how to use him yet but um, I just felt called to have him on my altar so I think I'm going to put him on here as well and then I'm also going to have the same prosperity charm that I had on here before this is a little replica charm or this is a little charm that my friend gave me from her shop and I just feel called to use it so I'm gonna put that there and then I'm going to once again sage the area and I know that um, selenite or selenite is water soluble but it's just getting a little bit on it so I think it will be fine I almost feel like I'm called to put something here but I don't know what to put here yet you know I had cards on it before and I had the three laid out and I felt good about it then but I feel like I don't feel as called to do that this time to have cards on the altar so I don't think I'm gonna do that but um or you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put these on there because I have my necklaces that I wear a lot and these are the three necklaces that I always find myself reaching for so these two pendants it's the chain doesn't actually didn't actually come with them I, I had it on hand already but these two pendants were gifted to me for my birthday from my mother-in-law and it's blue goldstone and opalite triangles and you guys know I have been so into triangles lately um, especially upward facing triangles but I searched high and low on Amazon um, trying to find upwards facing triangle pendants and I could not for the life of me find some um, so I just put these on my wish list because I felt called to and I've been wearing them a lot actually so I think I'm gonna put these on there and then I'm also going to put my um, multiple pendant necklace on there as well which is my rainbow moonstone which is new whoops let me zoom in or let me let it adjust um, my rainbow moonstone pendant from uh, Paracon I have my clear quartz from Colleen's sister she wire wraps and then I have my Herkimer diamond my blue gold stone uh, kabushin um, I have my seraphonite and I have my black tourmaline and I wear this a lot um, I actually just reach for it fairly often so I think I'm gonna put that there and that way they'll kind of get charged with the energies of this altar and I think 
that will be good for them. I think it will be good for me to reach for something that's been charged with my intentions and um, stuff like that. So, uh, sorry, <laughs> it's just like I uh, burped and hiccuped at the same time. Um, but yeah, that was me setting up my altar. I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know if you guys would like to have more videos um, of me setting up my altar. I'm curious to know if you guys are interested in these kind of videos. They're kind of long, I know, but um, I just felt called to do it, and so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more videos from me, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button so you can get more updates of when I update um, and post videos, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Mm -hmm.